Hello class, my name is Miss Parrish and I will be teaching the OST 130 I1 course for Spring 2020. Classes will begin January 7th, 2020. Even though this is an online class, you still need to log in on the start date of the class and complete specific assignments. This is a completely online course, and I am showing you the Blackboard course here, and the announcements page will always be like your home page, okay? So, under assignments, and this is where you will begin your week one. Let me turn this off. Okay, so, um, couple things that you're going to see here. Um, the first thing is the student registration guide. So when you get your textbook from the JCC bookstore, everything's going to be bundled together. You'll have a typing textbook, a Word 2019 manual, and an access code. Okay, so when you get that access code is when you'll need to come in here and do this um, student registration guide. Okay, there. if you click on this, it's a Word file and it will tell you step by step what to do. Uh, make sure that you enroll in the OST 130 I1 2020 course. You'll see that in there. Um, and I will be double checking to make sure everyone's enrolled in the right course. Um, if you get an error message that something is not open, like your first week's assignments, then you might be in the wrong class. Okay. But you can always send me an email if you have any questions. This is the GDP website right here. So that will take you directly to GDP to log in or to do your uh, registration code. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what that looks like. I am clicking on the GDP website. And you will see here that um, I have a code right here or need courtesy access. Courtesy access is if you do not have your book and an access code yet. Um, but you will need to get that because it will expire. So when you click on I have a code, you'll click on that and then follow the prompts. Okay? Alright, um, your week one, um, also, let me go back. This, um, when you're doing documents in the GDP website, um, you will have to have Microsoft Word installed, okay? And you can do that for free by going to the Office 365 website, okay? Um, and there are, um, this is a Word document on steps on how to do that, okay? The next thing is your assignment schedule. This is very important. I'm going to click on it and open it up so you can see it. Um, this is what's going to be due every week. And I'm going to pull this up for you so you can see it. So you can see in here what is due every week. Okay. Alright. So make sure you have this. Um, if you can print it out um, or save it to your computer somewhere so that you know every week exactly what is due and when. And in addition to that, You'll also have your um, assignment links in here, okay? Alright, so um, week one is right here, okay? So um, you'll need to click on that um, to make sure that you do everything that is needed to be done for week one. Now, week one is going to kind of span over a couple weeks almost. Um, so it's going to start January 7th. And they'll be due Monday, January 20th. Okay? I'm going to click on it to open it. Okay, so this is kind of like a checklist right here. And then down here is some step by step of things that need to be done. Um, if you do not have a book yet, um, these are the assignments that's going to be due by the 20th. You can download these and then type them into Microsoft Word save them and upload them okay and you'll upload them here okay 
here's some getting started documents if you want to look at those um, but make sure that you go in here and do one two three four five and so on okay so um, make sure that you do certain things by the census date uh, the census date is in your syllabus so make sure you read that um, you'll need to do the enrollment verification quiz which is over here okay you need to click on the syllabus read the syllabus you'll see a marked reviewed button Let me click on that okay so here is the syllabus right here I uh, also have the student acknowledgement form that you only need to send to me if there's a reason you feel you cannot be successful in this course okay otherwise don't worry with the student acknowledgement form okay and then I also have your assignment schedule in here again of everything that's due and then once you complete um, or read the syllabus get your assignment schedule then all you need to do is click the marked reviewed button okay I'm going to go back to assignments under week one let me go back here and turn it back on okay again we're under week one and so those two things are the enrollment quiz and then the syllabus and then your graded assignments um, number three which is the discussion board go in there and just you know introduce yourself post a picture if you want that kind of thing uh, register your access code and then complete your assignments okay make sure you do all of these by the due date but again the first two you need to make sure you've got those done by the census date if you're not enrolled or done any activity by the census date then you will be removed from the course okay all right, um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, my office is in the Wilson Building upstairs. My office number is 2015. I do have office hours. So under this right here where it says your instructor, you can click on that, and it's gonna tell you what my office hours are, okay? And there's my email, my phone number, Email is probably the best way to get up with me because I'm in and out of my office a lot. Um, but that's, you know, your best option. And then this is just the calendar for spring. Okay, so you can see different things that's happening. Um, all right, so that's pretty much, um, I think, everything I wanted to cover. Uh, if you have any questions at any time, um, you know, email me. Uh, or come by and see me during office hours. And... Um, I would love to meet you, so feel free to come by and just say hello. That would be great also. All right, so I look forward to meeting everyone. I have a cold right now. Um, hopefully, I'm on the mend on that. Um, but I look forward to seeing everyone and hoping we have a great semester. Thank you.